Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Morning Tables with Pastor Jen and... Pastor Henry. And so here we are in the basement and uh, wondering, what's on your mind today? For me, this week, I've been thinking about Psalm 46, verse 10. A couple of things is uh, at Westmount, where I preach once a, once a month, great little congregation, I've been doing a series on not so much what we as Christians need to do, you know, to live a life worthy of the manner that Christ has called us, but who we are to be. Mm. Okay, and I think there's a difference. And I think sometimes we we overemphasize either the being or we overemphasize the doing. And of course, there needs to be a balance between the two. But I've been focusing in over the last little while on the whole aspect of being. And I started off with, uh, be confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Mm -hmm. That whole aspect of being secure in our relationship with God. There's nothing we can do to secure that relationship in a sense because God has already secured it through Jesus Christ. So we need to rest in that relationship. Then I also went on to talk about being strong and courageous. Right. Okay, right, which is Joshua. That's a great passage, you know, of talking about the whole aspect of, of living our life with strength and courage, knowing that it's God who is with us, and right. he's our strength and our refuge, and, and he'll see us through. And then I talked about being alert, because the devil prowls mm. around, right? And we talked a little bit about that in our uh, prayer, week of prayer and fasting where, you know, we kind of wink at sin sometimes. Yes. And, uh, you know, that's, that's dangerous stuff. Yeah. Because the moment you give the devil a foothold, mm -hmm. you know, he'll take your ankle as well. Yes, he will. And he'll just keep going until he's got you totally. So we have to be alert and uh, be wise and discerning in regards to, uh, the world around us right, right? and uh, so that leaves me with the one I'm going to speak on this coming time and that's to uh, be still so how do you be still, still? right this this uh, this verse also is is powerful in the sense because it talks about being still and knowing okay right knowing that God is God, that there is no other God, right? And uh, once we know him in a personal way through Jesus Christ, then we trust him and have our faith and hope in him. And it's a learning experience. It doesn't come, at least it hasn't for me, it hasn't come automatically. And I'm still not totally at peace with, with life all the time, right? right? There are, there are moments when we get all anxious and riled up and Psalm 46 talks about some of those instances, you know, and yeah. we, can, we can take that personally, but then God says, just wait a moment. Yeah. Just wait a moment. Remember who you are, that I love you, that I care for you, that I promise never to leave or forsake you, that I have a plan and purpose for you, that I will see you through, and I'm in the boat with you. Right. Right? So if, this, if he's in the boat with us and we are familiar with him through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit within us, then we can access the peace that God wants us to experience and mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. right? So it's, not so it's not so much doing other things, but it's being aware of who we mm -hmm. are in Christ. Uh, it's interesting that that's what it says in the passage because I know when I start to think about who God is, there is a peace that comes. Right. And we spent uh, a year learning uh, memory verses about who God is. As whenever I start to go over them in my mind, my spirit does start to be still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when we meditate, think about, ruminate, prayerfully consider, those attributes of who God is. God is the comforter. He is the counselor. He is the peace giver. Like he is right. the king of kings. As soon as we start going over all those things, like the 
the peace comes. Mm -hmm. And I can be still because of who God is. Right. I just had an image of a, of a coffee pot percolating on the stove. You know, it continually percolates. And if it continually percolates, we know it is there. And we're aware of it percolating. And we know it's ready there when we, when we want a cup of coffee. Yeah. And I think God is the same way. We, we, we go about our business. We have, we have stuff to do. I mean, we, we can't just sit back on our, on our laurels and, and expect everything to happen to us. We're in partnership with mm -hmm. God, you know. Mm -hmm. And so there are things that we have to do. But the, 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 the truths of God are always percolating. And I like ruminating. That's a good word. When we ruminate on that, then it become, becomes a greater part of us. Yes. Right? I love uh, what Billy Graham says about the Holy Spirit. He says, it's not a matter of how much of the Spirit you have, but it's a matter of how much the Spirit has of you. Right. Right? So God comes in his fullness and takes up residence within us, and that's that's powerful because that that strength is the same strength that raised Christ from the dead, right? Yeah. So we need to give ourselves over to that. We need to be in that frame of mind. Mm. You know? Be still and know that I am God. So we want to encourage you today to, to meditate on who God is, who you know God to be according to Scripture. Open up some of those passages. Take out Psalm 46 and read it over because it, it does start off with this uh, wonderful passage that says God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in time of trouble therefore we will not fear though the mountains fall uh, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea like the the whole chapter is packed full of wonderful wonderful things to meditate on attributes of who God is so that you can then be still right and he is our God Yes. Right? We can have that personal relationship relationship with him through Jesus Christ. Yes. He's our God. He's just he's not off in the cloud somewhere. He's with us. Yes. It's a wonderful passage of scripture, and especially in our day and age when we've been through some uh, tumultuous years over the past two years. And if you look ahead and listen to the news, you know, you can you can get kind of cynical. Yeah. But we as believers in Jesus Christ do not need to be cynical because Hey, we're on the winning side. <laughs> Can you pray for us this morning? Sure. Father God, I just want to thank you that uh, you are God. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you are with us. And that you have promised never to leave or forsake us. And that you love us even more than we can ever hope to imagine. And we just praise you and thank you for who you are. And help us to rest in your presence. Mm -hmm. Help us to rest in your power help us to rest in your provision and help us to be the people that you have called us to be so that others may come to know you as their heavenly father as their savior as their friend so bless all who are listening and watching give them a great day and we'll be careful to give you the honor and the glory from apart from you we can do nothing in jesus name amen 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 well, thank you very much for joining me this morning. My pleasure. All right, our dear friends, that's it. That's all. Remember to like, share, go outside, and help your community experience, experience Christ. There you go. He's got it. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye.